Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Pug Crusade and today we'll be going over the pros and cons of Wild Horse Island's newest update. So in case you guys didn't know, the newest update in Wild Horse Island's added basically where Training and Trading Island are both on their own servers now along with Roleplay and Wild Island. They did this to help improve immersion of the game and help reduce lag. Or at least that's what they say. <laughs> Today I'll be going over the pros and cons of this update, and a lot of this is just stuff that I've heard from other people. I will sprinkle in a couple of my own thoughts, but a lot of this is going to be community-based. For now, let's go ahead and get into this. So, we will be first talking about cons. The reason I want to do this is because I kind of want to end on a positive note instead of just talking about the bad things the whole rest of the video. So, we're going to start on the bad. The bad things so far that I've seen a lot of people saying is that servers loading into takes a long time, especially for slower computers that just, they can't do it. And so, I've seen a lot of people saying that it's just not fair to them and that they wish that Wild Horse Islands would have just stayed the same and it would have been a lot easier for everybody. And I kind of do agree with this. I think that for slower computers, it does take a very long time to get into a whole nother server just so you can do training. But I also think it's important to point out that once you're actually in the server, due to it being a whole nother server, you're not going to have all that much lag as you would in a normal server. So I do think that is important to point out, especially if you're in a private server already. Another thing I saw a lot of people complaining about is how they missed the old Wild Horse Suns and how simple it was. And this is quite a big topic to start talking about and I might even make a whole video on it just by itself. But for now I'll just say this. The old Wild Horse Islands was a very very good game. But I think a lot of improvements are being made on the game even if some of them the community doesn't like. But nobody really likes change. So we're all just gonna have to get used to it. Overall I don't think all of the change has been bad. Everybody loves the new breeds. Well usually and I think everybody really does like the events when they're done right. We will not be discussing Unicorn Academy. <laughs> Plus I will say something I do like about the newer Wild Horse Islands is that it's not so simple. People were saying how much they miss how simple it was but also it was a little too simple. When you jumped there was no falling. You couldn't fall off your horse. You couldn't train your horse. Your horse was just that, that was just their stat. You couldn't do anything about it. There weren't so many breeds, so you could only have an, a certain breeds. There were no breeding, so no matter what you did, you could not get foals of your horses, and there were no unique coats. There were way less coats, too. So overall, while I do agree that I do miss the old Wild Horse Islands as an old player, but I will say that I think the new Wild Horse Islands has made several improvements that have made the game a lot better than it was before. Third con that I have on my little paper list here is that people don't like the islands. It's just as simple as that. They don't like it. And I kind of understand with this. They don't like it. It can be the look. Some people just don't like the look of the island. Some people just don't like how different it is, I think, from the other islands. Say like Wild or Roleplay Island. They did get a bit of a glow up, in my opinion, but I think a lot of people don't see it as a glow up. It's just very different as to what they were originally, and I don't think people really love it all that much. Overall, though, I think we will get used to it, and I think people will learn to like the island. I always kind of like it when islands are different though and aren't all the same because it makes them more interesting. I mean if we if every island looked the exact same as mainland and had the exact same trees and the exact same people and just the same atmosphere I mean how many times would you really like play that. I mean, I, I know I wouldn't. I get bored really easily, but I wouldn't play that. Before I get on to my next tip, in case you guys hear any background noise, uh, sorry about that. It's raining pretty hard where I am. The next con I've seen a ton of people talking about is that it this update makes it kind of hard to be able to consistently play with friends while on Wild Horse Silence. Again, this is another one that is just super duper 
you know, simple. You kind of understand why. You kind of constantly be switching servers every time your friend or you wants to go somewhere else. So, especially with the world overhaul looming closer and closer, it's going to become a bit of a chore to follow your friend around while playing. If, say, if you're catching horses at forest and they're, they are also on forest, but then they decide they want to go to mountain and you want to come with them, both have to spend the next 60 seconds, depending on how slow your computer is, logging into this new server and then running around to find the horses or find resources or whatever you were grinding for. So yeah, it definitely makes a lot of sense with this one. And this was actually a question I had for a long time before we got this update because I was I was curious, <laughs> you know, what, what was their plan? And it turns out they didn't have one, but that's okay because I'm assuming that is something that was considered and they just figured that the pros outweighed the cons. <laughs> This con is actually very specific, and this goes only for Trading Island, but it is something I've seen a lot. And that is that they, people like Trading Island, they like the idea of it, but they don't like the execution of it. So basically what I mean is that people like the idea of having a certain place where you can trade and make it very easy for people to find what they wanted only it's not easy to find what you want. If you walk into a trading area and you want to say, find a V1 Valentine Frisian and you've been looking forever, you still won't be able to find it in this. It's not gonna be any easier. And I think a way they could have avoided this would be say, in trading island instead of just having like the main trading area you know for everyone i'd say have certain areas of the island designated to different ranks of players so what i mean by that is people that are I'm just going to use very blunt words for this even though like the definitions of them are very like iffy but say you'd have a definition for people who are poor in game and maybe uh don't have the super duper good event horses or basically anything that good at all and then maybe you'd have people who don't have v1 frisians and you know valentine frisians and all that stuff but they're not poor they have a decent inventory that's probably where i'd end up to be honest and then you have the super duper rich people or just the rich area and these people would have the stuff like the v1 valentine frisians or the deep sea clydes or any of the other things spring arabians skeleton arabians you guys get the gist i think that would have been very 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 good i think they could have done that with the chat as well and i know that's the thing people also don't like is the chat system which i kind of i understand why but i think that would have been a very good thing for them to have added but you know it's okay that they didn't Alrighty guys, so it is time to get into the pros, which I am so excited about because honestly, I like talking about the pros more than the cons. So the first pro I have for you guys is how much less laggy the servers are. Now, I know this was kind of mentioned a little bit earlier, but I did want to mention it again because I think it is so cool what they did to, you know, cut down on lag because I know for uh, people on lower end PCs or just tablets or whatever you play on, it is super duper laggy to try and go around the islands and with so many people on at the same time, that type of thing. I am super duper excited that they decided to cut back on it and give us a whole nother island so i do think that it was a pretty good idea that they decided to do uh so far i have played once or twice on public servers on a lower end device that i have and i ran extremely well i th i think it ran better than normal i don't know for sure but it felt very good so i'm gonna say it did <laughs> I am pretty happy with it though. I am super duper excited. Also guys, can we talk about how pretty this island is? Look how pretty that is. I want to get up there. While I'm running up here, I will tell you guys about my second pro that I have, and that is that we have more exploration. We have way more exploration to be doing ever since these new islands have come out, and with so much new stuff to explore. I mean, look how massive Wild Island is. There's so much to do, and I think it is going to be absolutely amazing for role plays of any kind. I am so excited to see the types of role plays that appear from this, because I, don't, I think it's going to be fabulous. I haven't even explored 
explored everything, and I've been playing this update fairly often, so I definitely think that it's going to make a lot of people more excited, maybe, about the exploration. Especially with, like, how pretty the graphics are now. I just, I love the graphic update. I think that was such a great idea for them to do. Another pro I have for you guys, and it is a pretty good one in my opinion, although it's not directly related to the islands, is that we also got a bit of a UI update with the boat, and it looks so great. I'm running over there right now so I can show you. So this is the new update where basically here are the special islands, what they're calling, that transports you to a different server, and here are the normal ones, but I'm assuming this will change again once all of these are on different servers. But I do really like this, and the actual game has changed as well, which I- Another thing I found that I really like about these updates is that grinding seems to be a lot more interesting. I'm not sure if it's just because of how new everything is, but I personally really really liked it i thought the grinding was a lot easier for me to do uh if it is with the newness i just i like how new it is but i also quite like uh they space things out nicely and it overall just looks really good together the whole place especially like where i'm running around right now it flows very nicely although these massive umbrellas are kind of funny my last pro for you guys isn't super duper specific, but I do think it's important to talk about, and that is I think this update overall did a very, very good job. I know that I recently made a video talking about how bad the winter update was and the Christmas update, and that is purely my opinion, of course, but I really do think this update did very, very good. Even though a lot of people spoke negatively about it, I do think that Trick did a decent job with this update, giving people what they wanted in some aspects even though people kind of turned at the last second. I think the update is super pretty. You can really tell that they spent a ton of time working on this and I th overall I'm super happy with it. You guys should let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of the update. Do you guys like it? Do you guys not? If you don't or even if you do let me know. Give me your reasons. I would love to include them in a video maybe at some point. All right everybody sadly that is the end of the this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed and I hope it maybe gave you a new perspective on this update. If it did, feel free to leave a like or a comment down below letting me know what you thought of the video and I hope to see you guys really soon. Bye!